Hey guys, my name is Francisco, I'm here with my buddy Amadeo, and today we're gonna give him a haircut and a beard trim. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, the trimmer, just gonna make our, our, uh, our baseline, and we're gonna try to keep the fade at the bottom kind of low, uh, or kind of like below his occipital, and uh, yeah. We have uh, New York and at the end of May for my birthday and our anniversary. Oh, oh cool. I don't really want to go to the game that Davis isn't playing. Yeah, I'm still thinking about going. It's Saturday, right? Saturday. Saturday, uh, Saturday night. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we got our, our uh, baseline set, we're going to go with uh, the, our adjustable clipper with uh, open. And just make our, our second second guide. Are these videos gonna be on YouTube? On Ooh. YouTube, yeah. How often are you doing these? Uh, I haven't. I think the last time I did uh, was last last month. But I got to shoot a uh, Carlos Carlos Costa. Yeah. But I wanna, I wanna make these more, more regular. Mm -hmm. Now that we have our first guide, we're gonna go basically just work down the guide. So work uh, halfway here and then close. Three, two, uh, to uh, to Jalisco. No, it's like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on which way you're going. And I think they're they're doing like what they're doing now is a lot more a lot more tedious and like going in earlier and stuff like that so i'm taking a break so we're gonna take down the the bottom with uh with a shaver just to clean up the uh what's left gonna go back in with the the trimmer and just detail any of the uh, transition area from skin into the hair been super slammed for the beginning of the year or oh yeah 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 big time we're gonna move on to the uh, to the number two set up uh, our base This is kind of cool too to hear to hear your process because yeah actually yeah never I never yeah no you never <laughs> I never tell you that like, oh this is what I'm doing right now yeah it's like a cut with subtitles today <laughs> <laughs> are these uh this little homie right here that's cutting the hair yeah yeah is that from was that a thing uh, like a whole a whole set of them. Or am I making that up? No, no, they, yeah, they, they, they stab are, right? Yeah, yeah. My brother used to collect those. Yeah, uh, dude. Wow. I took it from him mm -hmm. when I was back in Houston getting my license. Oh, back so in, that was your brother's? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Back yeah, in 13. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I kept it in this little, like, box where, like, just uh, a bunch of, like, little knickknacks. I have, like, the, uh, the mariachi you gave me. Uh huh. The, whenever you went to, I think, Oaxaca or oh, Mexico yeah. City. Uh huh. Yep, that Oaxaca, yeah. Uh, it's in that little box. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I had that one in there, and I was like, "Man, I should, I should take this to the shop." <laughs> now we're moving on to the uh, to the one, and just continuing the the blend from the half into the two. Yeah, it's cheap, dude. It's like, it's on a sliding scale, so they still have me from when I went like six years ago or something so i just paid 20 bucks a session but even i think depending on what you make the most you pay is like 40 bucks a session that's still super cheap for acupuncture for acupuncture yeah moving forward i'm gonna uh, put my half and just touch up the the last line here and again just using the corner of my clipper just to get rid of the dark spots
we're gonna go with the two and a half just to fade up just a little bit higher from the two and then uh, just fade into the top but he was wearing a, a green shirt I was wearing a green shirt he was wearing like his brown boots I was wearing my boots <laughs> Yeah, that was a horrible game, man. Dude, that was, it was hard to watch. Because they got so much talent. But I guess Hopkins, too, he was playing. He's got, what was it, a broken rib or two broken ribs? I didn't know that. Yeah. So he wasn't playing at maximum capacity either. So y'all were first in line at Franklin's? Uh, second. Damn. Yeah, man, I was uh, I was shocked because when we got there, there was just one guy just standing by himself. How what time did y'all get there? Uh, six fifteen. Oh, well, yeah, dude, that's early. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'll probably have to break my my diet for Franklin's at least once this year. Well, dude, we felt. I mean, just eating like so so much meat, like. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, so, it's hard to stop eating it. It's so good. We're so we're so sluggish the whole day. We're like, yeah, yeah we don't do anything. <laughs> You're for the edge up. I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible, but giving them a nice, uh, nice sharp line as well. Find like a, a good little balance in that. Since we're not going to take too too much off the top, just to connect the uh, the sides to the top, we're just going to use uh, scissor over comb. I usually alternate between either clipper over comb or scissor over comb, based on the density and uh, basically just the hair type. Now we're gonna go work on on the top. Just a minor minor cleanup out there. Actually, like where the how his length sitting up on top. <laughs> Wait, he's oh, like, I'll be man, there, bro. That's funny. Yeah, Julio's hating on me, bro. He Why? did he did catch feelings. You saw that? He said everyone's invited to my Super Bowl party at San Diego because of the Cowboys thing. Oh yeah, that, that message you sent yesterday. <laughs> oh, I guess he did get hurt. <laughs> Dude, how's your uh, your uh, film coming along? Good. I dropped uh, I dropped two more rolls off. I think Wednesday, so mm -hmm. I should be getting them in tomorrow or Wednesday, and that's two. I'm trying to think of what two rolls that was. I think that's just like all that's Mexico from New Year's. I have my third roll is like halfway done, so I need to finish that one off and then I'll have a little bit more, but, but yeah, it's good. I mean, it got me back into it, yeah, because that's the thing with photography, it's like, it's like in certain phases. Yeah, so it was good, it was good to get into film. But well, you haven't picked up your, uh, your digital at all, huh? Not really. I did, I did when I was in Cuba because because it, it was it was hard not to you know there was so much that was new and I was still I'm still new to film and I didn't want to miss capturing capturing Cuba the first time I went so for sure so I did I shot a lot of analog but in Mexico not really I didn't really shoot that much it was a lot more film than than uh, than digital yeah because I only get one shot for it to be my first time somewhere. And that's my favorite time to shoot. Like, that's why this last time I went to the F, I, I didn't even shoot any digital because I've been there so many times. Not that nothing's new, but it doesn't feel new anymore. Yeah. So I don't really shoot when a place doesn't feel new to me anymore. We're gonna use the one and just fade in into the uh, the beard here.
What uh, what countries do you have in mind this year? Or cities? Mm. Well, besides what I already have, so I have going to Guadalajara for my cousin's wedding next month. I'm going to LA uh, at the end of February. And then New York at the end of this month. But if I had to pick, like if I wanted to go somewhere, I want to go back to Japan this year. If I can. If I can squeeze it in somehow. But he's gonna go back over there, right? Mm-hmm. And that's crazy. Yeah, man, he found his some uh, him, himself a little, yeah, a little honey. I saw a little honey out there. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about bringing by one of the uh, the ketchup packets and pulling a Dumb and Dumber on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that would have been epic to be honest. <laughs> next time, next time. Yeah, yeah. You know what popped up on my Facebook the other day was the uh, the day that I took the McLovin. The picture. McLovin? Yeah. Did you see it? Nah. Yeah, dude, it popped up. It was like the whatever year anniversary of that day. How's that, Dale? Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. What about you? You gave up on yours? On what? The beard. Nah, well, I trimmed it down and I trimmed the, the stash down. It was just getting, it was getting too <laughs> wild on the sides. Again, emulsifying the product in your hands um, and only using your fingertips. And just going in there, applying the product evenly throughout. Ah, feels great. Keep going, massage it in. <laughs> <laughs> A little Matt. aftershave? Sorry, Dale. No, you're good. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that uh, you weren't going to see me around anymore. Well, it's true. If you want to see me around, you got to head over to Beard Brand Alliance. Otherwise, if you hate me, stick around here at Beard Brand. I'm not here anymore.